Rick Perry does not look like or act like a guy that was recently indicted on abuse of power and coercing a public servant. No, he. But don't ask him what he was indicted on. Did you see? He this? doesn't seem to know. He doesn't seem. To, uh, he said like, it was bribery. It's not yeah, bribery. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Exactly. He can't name the three government departments he wants to shut down or what he might go to jail for. <laughs> right. Um, so if you saw recently, he did come out with his mugshot. He is smiling in his mugshot. He's not worried about that. He also doesn't know what he's he's been indicted for, and now he's even found a way to make some money out of this whole situation. Let's take a look at this image. That is from Rick Pack, and he is in fact selling t-shirts showing his mugshot with the word wanted on it. He's not wanted, by the way. It's not a manhunt. There aren't right. cowboys chasing him down. In fact, he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't even have to go in on, uh, while this is uh, happening. You're seeing, by the way, that they're also throwing the woman um, that's involved in this case under the bus there. Saying that she's guilty. Exactly. He's wanted. Yeah, where yeah. in the world Which, is Rick Which, by the Perry? way, she was guilty. She paid the fine. I mean, yeah. we already know that. He, she already went through the justice system. Now is your turn, Rick Perry. You know what's interesting there is that you can give $25, right, to get the T-shirt, right? Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have an additional contribution of zero as an option. Yeah, that does seem odd. You want to give something, start with, but, right, yeah. right, but just start with something. Start with five bucks. You're yeah. not going to make, I mean, he's a dumb governor. I don't know. We have no idea how many of these he sold, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're going to sell a lot of them. They're going to sell a lot. Yeah. And they were, they've been selling them on. The, he was in New Hampshire last weekend. They were selling. It was a big seller, big item up there. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, it is kind of funny. But it's pathetic that it's funny. Yeah, it is pathetic that he's trumpeting the fact that he's been indicted. And right. the thing, too, is I think he, this is actually kind of ingenious in terms of the marketing, because a lot of Republicans are going to buy it to sort of support him and stuff. Yeah. But I think a lot of Democrats might buy it and just white out the back of it, because it's still got him with a wanted side. Yeah, like, that makes him look pretty bad. what the back is. Like, if you're walking down the street you're and not someone's gonna wearing it, you're not going to recognize that. You're just going to know Rick Perry's, uh, yeah. Rick Perry's mugshot. Um, yeah, I, listen, uh, whatever you may think of these charges, and, and in point of fact, I don't know that they're all fair either. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, I don't. I'm not a, a, a Rick Perry fan. It does but seem like an abuse of power. It seems like an abuse of power. What I mean, I, I think that it was subjectively doled out, this, this indictment, mm. because I think a lot of, um, a lot of governors and, and legislators find themselves in that situation, too. He certainly did it, but I'm just saying that the doling out of it, I, yeah. I don't even want to, I'm delighted by it. And I think that yeah. even if it's a wake-up call and he's an example, great, because he did abuse his power. But I just think it was, it seems very subjective, the, uh, the indictment, the grand jury. That they chose the general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so as we said, he's going to be making money off of it. And even if he doesn't sell a lot of the shirts, which he probably will, it's already paying for itself in terms of his approval rating amongst uh, conservatives in Texas. Here's a couple of polls. Perry's net favorability rating in the Hawkeye State has gone up seven per, uh, percentage points since May. This is in yeah, Iowa. Yeah, this is in way, Iowa, yeah. by the way. Uh, this is looking ahead to the next election in which he is likely to run again, um, according to uh, the public policy polling. And uh, they also found that 59% viewed him favorably this month, and 15% saw him unfavorably. And you can see the numbers three months ago. And so he has improved pretty significantly in that time. Now, a lot has happened in three months. It could be that people liked his bizarre, weird, nonsensical comments about immigration and the border, right. and how he believes that ISIS is going to be invading over whilst carrying Ebola. Right. It could be that people just like that, and it's not the indictment, but we don't know for or sure. Or it could be like me, I, I'm, I have, because I was moved by his glasses. I think that that has made a difference to me. That's why yeah. I like him now. And You're I, driven I, by fashion. I didn't before. Yeah, I'm fashion driven by fashion.